The first thing we're gonna do is, let me get through here. This wall right here, yeah. I mean, it's good over there, but where it connects in here, I measured it all back here. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna run a string from that corner over there, all the way over here to the same, to the measurement that I need. So that way I can tell if this wall is perfectly straight. Because right now, I mean, it looks straight, but I wanna make sure it's perfectly straight. Then we're gonna have to put our rim joist all the way around. And then the first joist will go, you know, nailed to the posts across that way. And I gotta make sure my rim joist up there is, you know, right, because that's where we're gonna measure to. And then it's just a matter of 16 on center down. Okay. Nailing them up. Okay. So, doesn't sound too hard. Is it good to go? <laughs> All right. That way, it's around the corner. Now hold tight. When I look down it, make sure there's no gaps yeah. or waves. Like so, this wall will be lined up straight with the line, okay. which it looks like it's. I mean, it's right on it. Oh no, I gotta push it in. Yeah, see, it's it's twisted. That's why it's. So. Uh, the purpose of these room joists along this wall, because even though the main joist is gonna be bolted under here, the sub floor is gonna come across all the way back. So the other wall that we're gonna have to build up here, we'll have to sit on that. So that's why I gotta put all these pieces in. Go in. Yep. It helps when you cut things square. Good. What you doing? Gotta get these up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
So what we gotta do next is I'm gonna cut the notch for that post over there. And so we can slide all of this subfloor that way towards the wall and get it all nice and flush up against the wall. Screw in the corners and make sure it's all squared. And once I know that all the joists are square, the subfloor is fitting well, then I'm gonna go back and secure all the joists fully and put all the blocking in to stabilize it. And then we'll screw down the subfloor. Fourteen and a half. All right, cut it. Use those. We'll block it underneath. There it is. Your first blocking of your loft. Well, that's a good pile, Michaela. Yeah. You ready to put those up? Yeah. All right. See how that's like that? So I just gotta. Yeah, and keep going like that. It's That's hard. crazy. <laughs> Supergirl. Pieces too, 
close it up. Nice and tight. All right, let's throw some screws in. Get the corner. I think I'm just gonna get a little creative here. I can't get back there to hammer. Ideally, I would have started here and worked that way, but I wanted to make sure I had enough on that end and anything short over here against the wall because there's gonna be a wall there anyway because it's really, really close. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw a couple screws in here and then use that to pound in this way. So it brings the force over here and that way it can at least push down. I should have thought this earlier. So you can see how this is lifting up. I need to get weight on here and then in so I can get that tongue into that groove. Well, I think I need to get, oh yeah, close it over here. I need to get on a block over there and hammer there. Your new room. Yeah. Paul Mack? Yeah. Helping out? Yeah. I'm doing the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All that lumber's gone. I moved out of the way. But we, we used up a lot of that lumber. Well, my loft is no longer imaginarily here. It is finally here. And make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at From Scratch Ranch. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know it every time we post a new video. I really hope that my bed is gonna be comfier than this plywood.